Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, September the 3rd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and it looks like all eyes are on Tropical Storm Lee, which is going to be bringing some interesting weather to central Alabama, uh, both some rain and some cooler weather, which we're probably going to be very happy about. All right, our Skycam imagery this morning, there's a look at also what's happening this weekend, of course, is football. There's a look at the Tuscaloosa Skycam, and of course, you can see some of the clouds from Lee uh, migrating our way across central Alabama. Those will be spreading over the area today, so we're going to see clouds thicken up, but it's still going to be warm. Clouds have thickened up down in Demopolis as we look out to the west-southwest, and you can see the... Uh, uh, the high cirrus coming in from uh, Lee. Lee is the center of attention for the southeastern U.S. and uh, fortunately it is not a very strong storm. It is just barely into the tropical storm range uh, with uh, maximum winds uh, between about 40 and 45 miles an hour. Uh, Lee is the main player for us for the next several days, but of course we are going to be impacted by the system up over the Great Lakes as that trough will help uh, to uh, bring Lee up to the north and northeast, and that will pull Lee up across uh, our area. In the upper atmosphere and uh, with the water vapor imagery, you can see Lee. Of course, Lee pulling in a lot of dry air off of Texas uh, and Oklahoma, and so that, uh, that air helping to keep Lee from actually intensifying more than, uh, more than, you know, than necessary for uh, the... Uh, people in Louisiana where they're uh, being affected by the winds over there. Uh, let's look at the big picture of our uh, southeastern U.S. and you can see the circulation around Lee, but temperatures across central Alabama generally in the lower 70s for the most part, a little bit cooler in the east central and northeast part of the state where they're, uh, they've dropped into the 60s. Interesting to note about temperatures yesterday, uh, quite a range of temperatures across the state and as most people know we generally are cooler in the north and warmer in the south but yesterday it was just the reverse muscle shoals got to 100 and mobile only got to 78 you don't see that too often but that does happen from time to time there's our radar imagery uh, over the southeastern us and of course all of those uh, rain uh, bands part of uh, lee which is getting uh, the center of lee getting very very close to the louisiana or the south central louisiana coastline just like we saw in Irene, the area around Lee is uh, lighting up like a Christmas tree. We have a tornado watch in effect from northwest Florida back into southeast Louisiana. And we also have uh, lots of uh, both wind advisories off to the west and flash flood watches. And I'm sure there will be some flash flood watches extended. Why? Well, because of the QPF forecast and the future track of Lee, we're looking at uh, on the order of probably anywhere from 12 to 20 inches of rain, especially along the southeast sections of Louisiana, uh, southeast Mississippi, and even a little bit of uh, southwestern uh, Alabama. But the future track, as you can see, the main line of uh, precipitation being forecast is up across central Alabama. And we're looking at rainfall on the amount of uh, probably 5 to nine inches or so across the area. This is where the benefits of having had a dry August uh, will help us out because uh, if the rain comes slow enough, uh, and heavy rain is possible on Monday and Tuesday, so we have to be careful of that, but if the rain comes slow enough, uh, the fact that we are pretty dry means that we should not have any uh, real serious uh, flooding issues or flash flooding issues. But of course, as the rain mounts up, then that, that could change as we get the ground saturated and then heavy rainfall. So be watching for additional flash flood watches and uh, warnings if uh, those become necessary. On the Storm Prediction Center's outlook for day one, we're looking at a slight risk in the Great Lakes area from uh, uh, Michigan across the Chicago area, parts of uh, northern Illinois back into nor extreme northern Missouri. Day two, and of course in the area uh, along the Gulf Coast from southeast Louisiana over towards the, the extreme western Florida panhandle. For day two, the slight risk area in the north shifts and uh, becomes parts of uh, uh, New York, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. And then for the southeastern U.S., of course, we're going to be watching the future track and how strong 
Lee uh, will be after coming ashore, so it's probably going to be one of those things where there's not a lot of organized severe weather. Uh, but you know what? you got to watch out for dying tropical systems. All right, here's the... Uh, tropics and uh, we'll take them one at a time. Uh, first of all, there's Lee and then there's uh, Katia out in the Atlantic. So we uh, are pretty active with two storms going. There's the future track of uh, Lee. And again, don't worry about the exact center line. I took it off the map anyway. But uh, the uh, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, the whole southeastern U.S. basically going to have uh, rain of uh, some significance. And there's a look at the infrared picture. And you can see uh, very dry on the western side of uh, Lee. And I think it'll be making uh, landfall here in the next 24 hours. But the movement is rather slow. There's a satellite image of uh, Katia way out in the Atlantic. And, of course, uh, Katia no threat to any kind of uh, uh, land mass at the moment. As a matter of fact, it looks like it may stay uh, well to the south and west of Bermuda. Uh, and may become a major uh, hurricane when it's down south of Bermuda. Now, real quick, I'd like to just point out that the track forecasts, which were all over the board earlier, have now come much closer together. All right, here's the uh, morning 06 EGFS model run, and this is for today at midday. And there is, of course, uh, Lee, and uh, Lee, the main focus. Lee uh, doesn't move a great deal, but the two players on the map, this is for uh, Sunday, the main two players, of course, are Lee and the trough in the western Great Lakes because that trough should pick up Lee and, and migrate it off to the uh, northeast. But it's going to be one of those things that's going to be rather slow. And the result is that much of the southeastern U.S. will get a pretty good soaking. Uh, the closed low that was Lee opens up but doesn't move a great deal, as you can see here for uh, the uh, 5th, which is Monday, Labor Day. And so we're going to see a good deal of rain over the southeastern U.S. Uh, continue. And, of course, that means with the clouds and rain that we'll be a bit cooler with temperatures only expected to be in the 80s. And even like Mobile yesterday, we might see temperatures only in the upper 70s. By the 6th, or uh, pardon me, by the 5th uh, on uh, on Labor Day itself, then uh, the the uh, at midday, the trough is opening up. Lee is beginning to migrate, so it looks like Monday is going to be a big day for rain for us uh, as uh, the center of uh, what probably will be a depression at that point uh, will be moving across uh, into central Alabama. So by the 6th, the trough off to our north is beginning to pick up uh, the trough that was Lee, and that should be drying us out pretty well on the 6th. So look for rain to be ending on Tuesday, uh, the 6th, and then by Wednesday, the trough is off to the northeast of us. Of course, we're, we're watching the uh, other storm out over the Atlantic, uh, Katia. But in the meantime, uh, we're under a northwesterly flow, so that's going to drop temperatures, and so we should be into the uh, 80s. Uh, when you get out around the 8th, uh, and this is uh, Thursday, we're staying dry as we have a nice uh, trough over the area, but uh, no moisture to deal with, having been wrung out by the storm. And uh, then by the 9th, uh, which is Friday, uh, we're getting out uh, almost a week, and we're still dry. And then by Saturday, we're still dry. The trough's still in our area, but again, very little moisture to work on. The GFS suggesting the possibility maybe of an isolated shower, but I think for the time being, I'm going to stay with uh, a dry forecast. Then finally, as we head out into Voodoo, it does look like things do change. Now, either the GFS isn't handling all this very well, uh, or we are going to get back into more or less a flat pattern. As you see, the westerlies uh, are very much across southern Canada once again, and they stay that way as we head out into the very end of the period around uh, the 19th. But notice the mischief in the Caribbean uh, right there on the bottom of uh, the bottom kind of bottom right of your picture. So, uh, remember, September is the peak of hurricane season. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted uh, Sunday morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a wonderful Saturday. Enjoy our last dry day for several days. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see All of the Sharing 
your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.